Hey, 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 welcome to the DV channel. Today we have a tournament final game for the One Piece TCG. It'll be the Red Green Law versus Purple Kaido. Right off the bat for OP01, we are introduced a total of 12 leaders to play, and honestly, all of them have massive potential. For the law, it has insane value with its unique leader ability that allows you to basically cheat out a 5 cost card for just 2. On the other hand, we do have Kaido, which does have the usual ram and have access to better control cards thanks to the latest booster set. Of course, it does have the ability to shoot a damage for just 7 done. Now, who will claim victory? Without further ado, let's dive right into the game itself as you do see the Zoro coming down already, forcing a 1k block. It's gonna throw the queen to just guard the attack. It's gonna move on to his second turn. It's gonna go finally to the ulti, which does allow him to ram 1. It's basically a good alternative for the stage if you don't really like the stage because you do have a body on the field. It's gonna put on 1 down to kill off the Zoro. It's gonna force a 2k shield, but the Zoro is just gonna be let go. Now we're going to move on to turn 3 for the Lord Player as he does go for 5 down here. He's going to go for the Jewelry Bonnie. With the Jewelry Bonnie, he's allowed to look at top 5. He's going to pick up one Supernova card, adding it to hand. It looks like he does pick up the uh, Blocker over there for 1 cost. He's going to put the rest to the bottom of the deck. Now Lord does require you to have a full field before you can use his ability. And we do see Anami using the Rested Dawn to put underneath Lord. He's going to swing at the leader. He's going to force a 2 pace shield right off the bat. And to end the turn, he's going to just play 2 Blockers. And of course, this will pass over to the right player here, which will have access to 7 Dawn finally. And with 7 Dawn, there's a lot of moves that the Kaido player can make. Now, this is definitely thanks to the LT he did summon earlier, which allowed him to access to 7. Now, and with 7 Dawn, we do know what's coming. It's definitely the OP01 King. Now, with this new King, you do have to pay Dawn minus 2, which is definitely very expensive because you basically did not Dawn for this turn. But you can actually kill off two characters, one with three costs below and the other with two costs below. It's gonna kill off that two blockers which he did summon earlier previously. Now this does leave the bony wide open and the ulti is gonna swing over it and of course he's not gonna guard for it and the Kaido will swing a leader. It's gonna take it and basically draw one for that turn. So now definitely life is a resource that in this game is quite precious but however in the early game if you do need that hand power you basically do want to eat it as early as you can. Now we do go to 7 Dawn here for the left player as he does go for an, a third blocker. He's gonna use one of the Nami ability to actually put one rested Dawn on top of the other Nami which will of course swing over the ulti for 3k. It's gonna just let it go right there because there's no real purpose to block for it. And the law will swing at the Kaido and does take one damage moving into three. And we do see the new law coming down, which allows him to basically reuse the new Nami skill. And looking at top five, gonna put one straw hat crew to his hand. And looks like he does pick up the Uso because it's the bravest warrior of the sea. And he does have 2k defense, which is definitely very nice. Now we do see him passing the turn, and we do move on to 7 Dawn again for the Kaido player, thanks to the King, which he did pay a high cost for it. And we do see him coming down with the X Drake, which is newly released in OP01 as well. Now, with his ability, you just have to Dawn minus 1, and you can force your opponent to discard one card. Now, in this game, card hand or other hand size is very precious and very important resources because it is the cards to use for blocking. And we do see the King swing over to the leader, and the Law will actually block it. And does go for the counter phase and using Usopp to basically guard for the law. And the law will be 8k, which does successfully block the king. So there's a very hate sub play from the left player there. And does go for the Night Dawn turn. Now with Night Dawn, basically he does have a lot of move. And he's gonna use a round table, which is gonna make the king zero power. And the Nami will basically swing over it with no issues there. And that's a big threat to remove very easily thanks to the round table. Now the law will swing with 7k power, and the Kaido will actually be forced to eat this. And he's gonna go for the Brook here. On play, you can actually put two Rested Dawn underneath one character. It's going to put underneath the Law. Now, it's going to use the Law ability to bounce back the Brook, which does have 2k shield to summon the Law. The Law will stand the Law, and the Law will be swinging with basically 9k power, which is definitely a lot more than the Kaido can handle. It's going to force him to take to one life here. The Law will swing at the Kaido, and we do see a lot of Law action, but this Law will be blocked off by the 1k from the right player. Now without much further from the left player, now we do move on to the right player's turn with 8 Dawn here as he does go for the Black Maria for 2 cost, which is basically a blocker. He's gonna go for the 6 cost Queen which is newly introduced in OP01 as well. It does have the ability whereby you do Dawn minus 1. It does gain Rush which is very strong and it does apply a minus 2k power on one of the characters that's gonna apply on the law and the law will basically be receiving the attacks from the right player but the left player is not letting it go very easily until this new Queen. Basically, three attacks has been absorbed here, which is very sick because the life is not targeted. It's all targeting at the law, and the law did successfully, you know, pass this turn without much resource spent. 
which is very nice. Now he does go for the 10 Dawn turn already, that with a maximum Dawn, he does have a lot of things to do as he does swing at the Queen, and the Queen will be actually be let go immediately. The Law will swing at the X-Drake, and will be throw a Sasaki to actually block it, which is pretty expensive, but the Nami will be buffed up here to actually swing over the X-Drake as well. It looks like he does go for the Black Mario to block it. And we do see the Monkey D Luffy from hand, which does have Rush. And it's gonna use the Nami ability to put two, one Rested Dawn and he's gonna attach one more Dawn. It's gonna swing at the X-Drake for 8k power. Now he does have no choice to let the X-Drake go. And with that, the bot clear has been done. And the right player does have only one Kaido there. So the left player has successfully cleared the bot and of course deter any potential threat. Now the Queen is gonna drop down here for the right player as he does go for the ability, which of course Dawn minus one, draw two, discard one. Now this is a definitely a plus one, it's going to drop the stage card here. So unfortunately he doesn't have a window to actually apply the stage card, which I feel that he should have done it in the first few turns. Instead of actually summoning the ulti, which ulti can ramp you one card and have a body for that turn, but the stage card will be a permanent asset whereby you can just tap it every turn. Now left player do lose the Monkey D Luffy thanks for the Kaido with two attached on swing. However, the left player is definitely looking very healthy as he does draw into the event card which allows him to look at top 5 for a strike crew. Now if he does hit into the Monkey D Luffy, this might be game already. However, he does hit into the Tony Tony Chopper which isn't the best but however, it's better than missing the top 5. Gonna add that to hand. That's gonna use 4 Dawn here to cast the event card Round Table. So Round Table will apply a 10k debuff on the Queen and Queen will basically be at 0 here. And with zero power, you basically do not actually gain any value from blocking other than absorbing one attack. It's gonna swing at the Kaido with just the Nami. It's gonna take one damage and he now is at zero. And when you are at zero for this game, you are basically gonna face a lot of threat every other turn because opponent can just attach 10 Dawn underneath the leader and it's gonna swing at your leader without a blocker on the field. You are basically gonna force to guard a pretty high number. Now the right player is going to go for his last turn I believe as he does go for the 9 Dawn and we did not see him actually reach 10 Dawn this game thanks to the Dawn Minus. He's going to go for the Kaido from the ST which does have a very strong ability by Dawn Minus 5. You can actually pop on 6 cons below, it's going to pop off the law and it does gain rush for this turn. Now the Kaido will swing at the Nami and the Nami will be let go instantly because he doesn't have actually much cards in his hand. The Kaido will swing at the leader and of course he's going to take it However, this does leave zero standing dawn for the right player, and with zero standing dawn, you basically can't cast any event cards, which usually the event cards are the high defense cards, and it's gonna attach like seven dawn, I believe, onto the law, and it's gonna go for the game here, and this will be it. Now, this is the law deck list if you guys are interested in. And this will be the Kaido list if you guys are interested in as well. Thank you guys for watching till the end and to consider subscribing, dropping a like and a comment if you guys do enjoy the content.